Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Such a blessing and honor to be in households for God today. Right. And uh, I just want to explain why I'm up here. Um, it had to been uh, the second Monday a miracle month, and I was praying. And just for, you know, some things, um, school and all that stuff. And then just a candy just came to my mind. And um, I don't know, I just, you know, uh, you know, all the things that she's done for me. And I was like, you know, her birthday's coming up this month. So, um, it was that Tuesday night after I said, Miss Joan, um, can I come in the same place? And she said, okay. I said, all right. And so, that's why I'm up here. <laughs> and uh, so I wrote the little something and I had it in my first lady. Um, there are many things that I could say about my first lady, but my words won't let her see how much she means to me. My first lady is an inspiration to every woman in the church and young girls like me. Never cutting her hair, never wearing pants, never showing any weakness. My first lady portrays something that I aspire to. No one in this building can truly understand what she has done for me. Like a mother, she deserves the utmost respect and honor. This year, I really can to see what it is she actually has to endure on a daily basis. Taking care of three boys, I'll ask her. <laughs> 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 Managing church finances and um, helping others with their situation. To me, she never gets a break. <laughs> but then, who does? We are her life. We are what she prays for, cries for, hopes for, and does for. She is on a constant whirlwind of stress and weariness, but yet she overcomes it. If you ever get the chance to hear her speak, don't miss it. I assure you that if she needs to tell you something, she will tell you. <laughs> I don't think she realizes how much I love her. Um, I want to thank Pastor for bringing her here all the way from Louisiana. <laughs> She's been a blessing to me. <laughs> She has been a blessing to me, and without her contribute to my understanding of life, I would be deficient in a lot of things. I want to thank a former member of our church, Sister Nina, who had me to recognize that she is no longer just the pastor's wife or Sister Tanya, but the first lady of the church. My first lady. She holds a place dear to my heart, and the moments we have shared together I will never forget. As the amount of members grow, so will her heart because she includes everybody. And I want her to know that I love and appreciate her more than she could ever know. And so in concluding, I just want to give thanks to God for placing this woman in our church. She is an inspiration, a prayer warrior, a mother, and a friend. But most importantly, she is a first lady.